Yo, what's going on? All right, let's talk about it. It's the aftermath. It's the aftermath. Man got spun yesterday. Man then got spun. Arsenal nil, Chelsea two. We told you what was going to happen. We told you. Man got murdered. And you got to you got to look at it like this. You got to look at Lukaku. We all knew what Lukaku was going to do yesterday. We all knew what Lukaku was going to do. Oh, hold up, the road works. Hold on. Yeah, we knew. We knew what. Look, anybody and their dog knew what Lukaku was going to do yesterday. Yeah, everybody knew. Like before the match starts, you're saying if Lukaku is going to play, man's going to he's going to pin. Whatever defender he plays against, whether it's Holding, whether it's Mari, whoever. Lukaku, we've been watching this guy last eight years. Man's going to pin the defender. He's going to use his strength, spin, lay it off, or he's going to outmuscle you and take the shot. Everyone and their dog knows that's what's going to happen. Mari, he had him on toast yesterday. It was ridiculous. And... That performance, it just sums up Arsenal all together. It just sums up Arsenal. Man and my Arsenal have to make a decision now. The fans have to make a decision. I'm gonna make a separate video on that. Let's talk about the game. Like, from the get-go, for a minute it looked like Arsenal might have got it together. But once Chelsea clicked, this game done. This game done after the second goal, Reese James. Second goal done it. It's a mad team. That first goal, let me go back to it. That first goal, ball gets fed into Lukaku. And he outmuscles Mari. Lays it off. I think he lays it to the right. Rich James, whoever laid it to the right, I think it was Lukaku. Whatever happened, he went to the right. Watch Lukaku's run. Lukaku literally throws my man to the floor. And Mari's looking for the foul. But you can't look for the foul in that position. The bottom, the defending was stopping Lukaku going on the run. To me, if someone has got the drop on you like that, you've got to use your intelligence. You ain't stronger than Lukaku. So you can't use muscle against him unless you're built the same. And my man just got, he made him look like a schoolboy yesterday. He absolutely had the defenders on toast. I just don't know, I don't know what Arteta told them. To me, the thing is as well, it's part Arteta and it's part Mari, because the manager can tell you to do something at some stage you've got to readjust and work out that like, this ain't working man is getting dealt with no one does that and the thing is Arsenal's got no leaders so there's no one on the pitch that is gonna is gonna deal with that so that first goal the second goal was like it's just embarrassing the second goal because when Reese James gets that ball and strikes it on the end to me, I thought it was going to be 4 or 5 nil yesterday. I thought it was going to be 4 or 5 nil at home. Somehow, they stopped conceding. I don't know how, but it should have been more. And I just can't get over how Lukaku just took the piss. Like, I, I play striker. I don't play football anymore. I'm old now in terms of football. But when I look at um, how, I, how I used to play, I used to play striker. I was quite strong, still quite strong, even if I, play, if I played now. My game was a bit like how Lukaku was. I'm going to go into you, because I know I've got the speed, I'm actually going to back into the defender. I'm going to pin him and I'm going to spin, because I know I've got the speed to take him out. So I, 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 I take anybody in the foot race. I'm confident. So when I saw what Lukaku was doing yesterday, I was like, how is this guy not... How has someone not dealt with that? And he just murdered them. So to me, I think Arsenal, anyone that's got a, a, a physical striker, unless Arteta gets sacked, this is going to be your blueprint for the season. Um, Chelsea looked good yesterday. I'll give them that. It's not going to be the same when they come up against us. Trust. VVD, Konate, whoever plays, this ain't going to happen to Liverpool. Not at all. But Arsenal are in big trouble. You are in big trouble. Yeah, it was terrible, man. I mean, the rest of the game, the thing is as well, you know what? Second half, 
there's no change of tactics. Like, Arsenal are so bad now that it's not even funny no more, man. They're, they're so bad. Like, I don't know. Certain men will try and tell, like, certain Arsenal fans will try and go, oh, certain men speak to, they try and act like, oh, we're, we're, we're going to end up like you lot. Nah, man. <laughs> Despite us taking 30 years to win the Prem, yeah, we're not as bad as this. We were not as bad. We were not as bad as this. We were still taking Champions Leagues, European Cup, um, UEFA Cup, FA Cups, League Cups. We were competing. There was a couple years that we were not there, but Liverpool was relevant. You don't want to try and say we weren't, but we were. This is this is ridiculous. What's going on with Arsenal? This is ridiculous. And you, you man, you fans have to. You've got to do something because this club I can see you lot having a relegation fight this year for the first time on a serious note like proper proper relegation because come the end of this month I think you lot are going to be on you're going to be on zero because you lot ain't getting any points from Man City so that's already a third defeat zero points to come out of an international break I've never seen Arsenal in that position in my life so I don't know if, if Arteta is still there I don't know how you lot are getting through this on a serious note but yeah Chelsea look good man Chelsea look good they look like title contenders along with us everyone's written us off I can't wait till the match next Saturday because it's not gonna that's not happening to us I'll tell you that for free but um, Arsenal man you man in trouble so, um, yeah, what can I say, man? What can I say? I've got the result right. Chelsea took the game. Oh, Arsenal, man. I'm going to do a separate video. I've got a message for the Arsenal fans. Anyway, I'm out for this one. Peace.